Just thought I'd uh, do a little update on some of the terrain pieces. Uh, you can see here that I've been going back over the black area, making sure I get all kind of filled in. A little hard to get inside the cracks here because I did uh, lay these down first before I had applied my black coat. So there's going to be a little bit of yellow showing through. Uh, I'll try to get into it yet and fill it up. Might not have to worry about that after I apply down a layer of sand. That is what I plan on doing for this particular piece is um, once I get a black coat on there I will put some glue on there and then pour some sand in the area and then flake it off just gonna build up a little bit more um, ruin material around the edge a little bit to define the ruin shape for the game I mean pretty much it's the square base of the foam but still if you have edge to edge of in the rule book is that you have to have well defined edges in order to to define the terrain I also popped off the floorboard that comes with the pre um, you know prefabricated ruins from games workshop and why I did that is because in the game a level is considered to be three inches uh, and for buildings and stuff like that and since that level was only not even a full inch I just popped it off because of the way how the rules are if three inches is supposed to be three inches then the floor actually should be higher up here at this point I think um so but yeah I'll get some sand in here and then I got some greenery I'll probably uh, put some green in there the the design that I'm planning on going for of course is going to be like a weathered terrain board stuff that's been like probably been fought over and then people are coming back to it so it's gonna be like war torn and and um, so that's about it here is um, the process so far with the one with the blister packs I decided just to put um, two other blister packs inside here their uh, texture is going to be a little bit different compared to the original ones because they were air, uh, spray canned primed with uh, rust-oleum and these two here were painted so I'll probably put some paint on top of these so that the texture kind of matches the, the two new pieces still got some areas here that I got to touch up and then this I added, uh, these are the popsicle sticks, I measured out kind of what I needed and then I took a little bone saw here and hacked them up pretty good. Some of them I sanded a little bit just so I wouldn't uh, cut myself working with them. And um, glued that on there. So I'm still kind of waiting for the glue to dry. I will probably end up filling up these gaps with just some paper and then I'll paint it gray so it's kind of like a, a rough build trench and as you can see here as I move it around that there's still a pretty good height for the units to see over Some of my orcs here that I have yet to paint. Well, I kind of started painting it, but I'm going to go all over that with black and then just do uh, tones. And you can see here's some 
old um, some old planks I made and the bottom part of it is some sprues for some old uh, space marines I don't know originally I had a bridge I had not a bridge but I had like um, on one of my box buildings I built a ramp so that the marines could walk around the back part of it and get on top of the building so I had scaffolding and everything built for this uh, but in the store in the storage and transport and stuff the the um, thing got broken so so now I got uh, three planks yet to still do something with for design and of course those are made out of popsicle sticks um, as you might have seen there's something here a little inside of to something else that I'm working on and as far as for other terrain here's the uh, one of the planetary scenes Let's see if I can get some better lighting here at first what I did is I kind of stippled it the stippling worked okay for the ground but I mean it's pretty much just solid brown now but uh, when I did the stippling for the rock, it didn't really turn out too well. So I'm going back over the rock with just straight uh, brush strokes. And then I'll probably blend some gray with black a little bit. And then I'll do some fine detailing in the cracks. Uh, it's a little backwards, but it should help uh, pop those stones out a little bit better. And there's still some more for me to do with this yet. I might try the wash on this since it's uh, not such um, great fine details just so I can use it up and then uh, I'm probably going to paint this black area here all metallic metal I only have silver so we'll see how that turns out I guess that's about it you can see that, like I said, those guys, um, Dark Elder seem to stand a little bit taller than that little guy, but let's see if I got a Space Marine. There's one of my test models, Space Marines. So you can kind of see that um, all the models will be able to see over that just fine. They're big enough for a, a Terminator or something else like that to go through there. I'm going to build up around this outer edge with uh, paper, I'll probably use some plaster to um, make it more earth terrain around it. Uh, just because, you know, this is such a unnatural finish for the terrain. So I want to make sure it's pretty good. I did buy some plaster cloth from from um, Ceramic or Woodland Scenics so we'll see how that works out you can see there's like a little lava project 